some of y'all this car may look really familiar i mean really really familiar <laughs> What is up guys? We are using the DJI Osmo Pocket today while we film. Now I'm attempting to try to get gas. This is going to be a little different for me because I'm not used to using... This is an itty bitty camera. You guys can see it there in the mirror. Okay. Oh shit, that's not going to work. Who the fuck parks... Oh man. Alright. Here's your sign. Jesus. And you got people just parking here and chilling instead of getting gas. Like, what in the actual F is going on here? Here we go. Now, maybe, maybe we can get some gas. This gimbal thing is going to be a little bit used to getting to, getting used to because the camera, like, takes time for it to move. But anyways, we're doing it today. Supposedly, I'm supposed to be able to press a button here and it makes it flip, right? I don't remember what I got to press. There's a button you press and it will flip around. But anyways, so we're out here today. There it is. So you got to click the button three times and then it will work. Face tracking is on. So anyways, we're out here using the DJI Osmo Pocket and I wanted to get some footage. I, again, we're testing different cameras. I got the big boy Sony out today as well on the Gorillapod. And we got to get some footage done because I got a Copart car that we got to address and other things. So um, we're just going to go ahead and try to do that throughout most of the part of today. All right, so we have a little bit of a drive ahead of ourselves as we uh, get in today. Let me know what you guys think about the quality of this camera. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to patch the video like when I put this into Final Cut, I'm going to drop the footage from the DJI Osmo. Now, the same system that this uses, a gimbal, right? That keeps it straight. Um, I have one coming for the Sony, for the um, for the big mirrorless camera. And that way, the video footage that I will shoot with that moving forward will be ultra stable. So we shall see. We shall see. And you guys can let me know. The only thing with the DJI Osmo is supposedly you can put external audio on it. That's what they said. They said you could plug in external audio with a USB-C to 3.5 adapter. I've tried several, uh, none of them work. Now, I don't know if it's uh, you have to use a proprietary jack for the DJI Osmo for it to work or if there's a setting. I went all the way through the settings. I see nothing for external audio. So, kinda not happy about that, but you know, it is what it is, man. Um, overall, initial impressions uh is obviously the video footage is extremely stable and um i think it'll be good i think it's going to be a good backup camera or a little you know a little camera to use when you know let's say i'm at a place where you know we're filming something or i i, I need to i want to discreetly get some footage in at a place that i might not be able to normally do that you know, whether it's at a, a different auction that doesn't allow filming or something like that. That's where this little camera comes into play. Because I could probably just like tuck it in my shirt or, you know, have it out like this. It doesn't look like a like a big GoPro on a stick or, you know, it doesn't look like I'm holding this big giant Sony up with a damn gorilla pod on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not running around here looking like Casey Neistat. But, um, anywho's. You guys can let me know what you guys think about the quality in here and we're going to go ahead and get along with our day well one thing i see on this thing already that i'm not a fan of is the uh uh the time lapse <laughs> the time lapse on this thing is a no-go the gimbal thing is weird too i'm gonna i'm really gonna have to get used to the you know because like the computer's trying to fight you and say no i want the lens pointed here and it just may be a learning curve stuff that I need to learn. So we'll see how it works on the uh, 
on the Sony when that comes in this week. Come on, man. It's simple. Make a turn. Like, I have no patience for dumbass drivers. Dumbass drivers, for me, are the absolute worst. I'm sure you guys probably feel the same way. But, like, I don't know. If you're scared, don't be behind the wheel, man. Because that causes accidents, you know? Oh, look. Is the camera going to turn now when I turn? Thank you. I was like, the camera was trying to stay. The gimbal is trying to keep... Uh, trying to keep it pointing the other way you know but i don't know man as far as i'm concerned dumbass drivers are probably like the biggest hazard on the road right now today right and that's just people that are indecisive you know can't can't make a decision when they're driving or they hesitate and then they go too late smashed you know i mean we could we we, we, we may need to start a series out of copart with all of those uh smash vehicles and be like hesitate or didn't hesitate <laughs> so guys one of our sponsors sent out another package and this just came in from e-diag so let's get it open all right so this one is called the think scan this is a little different they got the 600 the 601 and the 609 i don't know which one is in here we're going to find out here in a minute Let's look on the side here. This is the 601 in blue. It's the TKS01. Hey, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Let's see if this thing will focus. Now, that's one thing the Osmo is not good at is focusing close up. But it says the Think Scan TKS01. I kind of like that. Think Car Tech. All right. Well, let's pull the tab. And see what we got in the box. Uh oh. Did I do something wrong here? Does the whole thing come out? No, just one side. There we go. Decent box. This is definitely a decent box for a scan tool. Probably one of the more sturdy ones I've seen. Oh, snap. And it comes with a free gift. You can get a battery tester, a 12-piece tool set, or a brake, brake, blah, brake fluid tester. Cool thing. All right. All right, let's see what's in this box. All right. We got the scan tool itself, which is kind of big. Look at that. Nice, big, meaty thing in your hands right there. I like that. All right, that looks good. That looks really good. We got a bunch of uh, troll food. And then we have the plug, which goes from your ODB to the scan tool. Well, we'll have to test this thing out. Um, we did, you know, we just shipped out the last winner of our scan tool, which was an E-Diag Y301. So we're going to do a full test out on this. We'll do a video on this for you guys. You know, like put this into a video and see how it performs on uh, different vehicles. I'll, I'll try it on the Tahoe, uh, the Mamba here, and the uh, Aspen, and we'll see how uh, we'll see what it, we'll see how it performs. Also, Cassandra and Cars is coming to pick up the blue Jetta, so maybe we'll do some scans on the Jetta as well. Well, guys, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below, or you can tell me in the chat. And uh, if you guys think you guys would like to win one of these in a giveaway and we'll do one in one of our daily premieres in the comments section. Yes, I shaved. That's why my face is all irritated. Um, I am rocking the Ithwit merch today. You know, if you didn't know, Ithwit has a very uh, small channel that he's starting to get going. So I'm rocking his merch out today. All right, guys. So one of the things we're going to do to get in today, I think a proper camera test, not having it out in the rain. But going out to, um, we're going to go back out to Fort Bragg. We're going to check out the Lemon Lot, a.k.a. the military sales lot out there. I got to go to the exchange and pick up another lens. Look, man, I got to be honest. When I made this switch from the Sony, cam I mean, from the uh, GoPro to the Sony camera, like I knew the camera setup itself was going to be expensive, right? I mean, the Gorillapod by itself was almost a hundred bucks all right so between that 300 bucks for a gimbal for it 
a thousand bucks for the camera. I'm looking, you know, the GoPro was what, 300 bucks and uh, 350 bucks, and then the media mod was what, 80? The can all right, so even with everything fully kitted out on the GoPro, it's probably at like 600 bucks, right? This Sony, by the time I'm done with the wide angle lens and everything, I'm gonna be at like damn near three grand but the only good positive thing about that is is that body that camera setup should last for a few years and as we showed in the copart walk around which we just got done doing the premiere at six o'clock now um, i gotta pull you guys an amazon gift card winner from that video i said we were gonna do that at 6 30 so i'll do it um as we approach the small gate here u.s army fort bragg military reservation so we're not in the secured section yet but we will be at we will be going through the secured gate here in a minute but um yeah i gotta pull that winner for y'all oh let me hurry up car coming car coming uh, go 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 y'all have to let me know what the audio sounds like out of the dji osmo on its own i am definitely interested to know what you guys think about the uh the audio but anyways we're on our way there we'll be right back so we're just starting to pass the ranges over here. And I can see we got some gear and stuff out here today. I wonder what they're firing. Woo! Hold on, let me see if it'll, if the camera or the gimbal will actually move over. There it is. Look at all that gear out here. They're out, oh, they're out here live firing. Yep, they are out here live firing. Look at that. All right. I love the, you're gonna say, think I sound crazy, but I love the sound when I'm out here and you just hear them right that, 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 and they're just getting it in man it's a beautiful sound but i don't know i'm a gun guy though so all right guys so we are about to go through the gate so you know what that means i gotta sit y'all down for a minute because uh when you go through these controlled access gates uh they do not appreciate people filming but i wanted to let y'all see some of what was going on here looks like we only got one lane open today anyway so this is the special operations gate. I, <laughs> look at this truck, don't know where the hell he's going, huh? This is the spec ops gate. I will catch you guys when we get back here in a minute. Oh, that took longer for you guys. It was only a couple seconds, but for me it was a minute because whenever somebody's trying to come through the gate, if you don't have a scannable cat card or you're retired and you have one of those, it's either blue um or what's the other color pink one or the other blue or pink uh that's it. it or you have to have a cat card like i use if you don't have one of those you're not coming on post and it was like they had a truck like uh you saw it when we were coming up there was like eight dudes laying in the back of that truck like i guess it was a cleanup crew or some shit so that was a 20 something minute hold up there and now the rain's hitting i was trying to beat the rain out here to the lot but that did not happen anyways well we are going to be able to go by jsoc and usa sock and if you don't know what those are this is where like all of the special forces training stuff goes down is out here um here on post and it's not just army like you'll see seals out here I don't know what the Air Force's group is called, but you'll see them out here occasionally. You know, they do have Pope Field, so there is some Air Force people that are actually just stationed here. Because they, uh, you know, this is a this is an airborne uh, facility, so you have a lot of, uh, you know, the Army's not who's flying those, flying those birds. That's Air Force flying the 82nd, you know? So... We are almost there. We're going to be going through the old second gate. Is this a stop sign? It is a four-way stop. Oh. We're going to go through the second gate. This used to be the real gate. Um, this used to be the real gate, and the gate back there is fairly new. So this is the old gate. This is the old gate that you used to go through when you come on post right here. Oh man. All right. We. <laughs> All right, guys. We are just getting here to the resale lot, which you guys can see over there. 
We're gonna look. It looks like there's a couple of new cars over here to check out. I see y'all Mopar gang. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, let's look and see what new vehicles we have out here on the resale lot. Oh, hey, we got a Durango, a Citadel. See that? We got a, I think we saw this before, the 300ZX. We saw that last time. We saw that Mercedes last time. The Avalanche is new. We should take a quick look at that. Now, what I may do is just put a, what you call it, over y'all, man, a hat over the top of this to keep it from getting wet. Oh, my God. There's a Mercury Marauder over there. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and do that, guys. While I guys got you here, I'll cover you guys up with this, with the hat, and we'll go. Try to keep this thing from getting wet. All right, there we go. Look at this Chevy Avalanche. It does not look bad at all. I like this body style. I like this body style of the uh, Tahoe, the Suburban with this front end. This thing is clean. Tires look like they could be a little bald. Nice bed cover. This is clean. This is clean. This is definitely clean. I like this. I like this a lot. See, I would paint those plastic joints. Here, let me just... These plastic joints right here would immediately have to be painted, for sure. All right, let's see how much they're asking for the Avalanche. They're looking for 8200 bucks with 133,000 miles on it. Mmm... I don't know about that, guys. I don't know about that. Let's get down here a little bit more and see some of the other things on the lot today. All right. Oh, there's a Nissan Ultima. I know somebody in the in the premiere that uh, wants to see one of those. <laughs> We got another E-Class Mercedes. That's new. All right, let me park right here. We're going to check out this Mercedes, and we're going to check out this Marauder. There is a Mercury Marauder right there. And I would laugh my ass off if somebody bought that from Randy over at Auto Auction Rebuilds, and that sucker was here. That would be hilarious. All right, let's go look at this stuff. Oh! Damn seat cover is not sitting right. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this Mercedes first. This is actually pretty clean. I ain't seen this here. Is this a Blue Tech? Blue Efficiency, it says. Blue Efficiency. And you guys can let me know what you guys think about the um, the DJI Osmos footage in the comments. This one. It's a 2012 E350. They want 12,000 for it. There's the info on it. Eh, I don't know, man. 12 grand? What year is it? A 12? So it's eight years old. I mean, I guess it. It, it would depend on the, the how the interior and stuff. And the one thing about the uh, resale lot is, for the most part. Most of the interiors on these or cars are not open for you to check out the interiors. Huh. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one. What do you guys think about a 2003 Mercury Marauder? Now, I know for sure some of y'all, this car may look really familiar. I mean really really familiar <laughs> yo this mercury marauder looks just like the one that auto auction rebuilds had except this one is all stock 
factory paint. It's never been painted. I've actually already talked uh, to the company, as a, actually a company that helps soldiers when they get deployed, that is trying to sell this one. The trim on the outside is factory. Everything on this car is factory. Right down to those butter leather seats. It is blacked out to the blacked out all the way through. It is super, super friggin' clean. Look at that, man. Look at that. And guess how much it is. Now, you're going to look at the mileage and say, that's ridiculous. But it does have 228,000 miles. And they're only looking for $5,000. It does have a full touchscreen um, head unit in there. But look, the interior, I wish I could show it to you guys. It's mint. It is mint. $5,000 for a butter. And I'm talking about butter clean Mercury Marauder. Look at that. Now the mileage, to be, to be fair, the mileage is kind of high. I'm going to keep it a buck. The mileage is kind of high. But damn it, is that thing clean. Which brings me to this behemoth. Look at this F-250 6.7 litered power stroke. Woo! Oh, man. This thing right here is absolutely gorgeous. Now, you know, Ford, if they were smart, they'd bring back that 7.3. And then have a bunch of bulletproof trucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's see what they are asking for it. 24000 What's the mileage on it? All right. It's got a 4.5-inch commuter lift kit. 35-inch Mickey Thompsons. Free-flowing exhaust with EGR unplugged. That means they bulletproofed it. Da -da -da -da. USAA has the title. Huh. I'm willing to work with a bank and or credit union for financing. Huh. Maybe. Huh. 24000 for this. What do you guys think about this? Where he has USAA, I might be able to just take this over. I might be able to just take this over. This is clean. This is really clean. I know y'all got to be like, damn, TK, this video is butter smooth. And that's the gimbal. That's why I can't wait to put the gimbal... On the Sony camera for you guys out there. You guys are going to love it. What do you guys think about this Power Stroke? Let me know in the comments below. I am looking for a second vehicle. So I am looking for something new. Which brings me to the last thing that I saw that was new. And this is a new body style coupe. This is the C300. Formatic. So four wheel drive. They want 28900 for this to 2017. 2017 mileage has got 43,000 miles. Somebody was driving. Boy, they were like me out there. Woo! Let's take a look. Let's take a walk around and see how she looks. She looks really good from the front, doesn't she? I like this uh, body style of the Mercedes on the front, this generation. They look good. Huh. Well, sorry guys, I had to wipe some water off the camera. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This looks like the original sticker. Look at this. The original sticker on this was $50,050 in 2017. So in three years, you know, three years and 40-something thousand miles, they have now dropped this down to twenty eight nine. So this thing lost, what, 20... $21,000, eh, you probably can get it for less than that. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section down below. Uh, we looked at this Toyota truck last time, so if someone's going to ask, you can go look at our last military lot walk around that we did out here. I did an extensive one on that. But this Mercury Marauder, man, for five grand, that's just a quick cash deal. I don't know. What do you guys think about a Mercury Marauder and then throwing the supercharger and stuff? Because at this price, at five grand, it's kind of like, 
whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, whatever. Uh oh. I wonder if that F two fifty over there is for sale. I see a, we got more than one. There's a sticker in the window. It might be for sale. Uh oh. We've already seen that 335. So for my BMW fans, we want to see that BMW. We've already covered it. Then this one's got a bed cover. This one's got a bed cover and everything. Man, that bitch is clean. How much do you want for this one? Oh, they want 52,000 for this? It's a 2016? They want 52,000 for this. And see, this one ain't been bulletproofed yet, I'm sure. Where they gotta delete that EGR and all the rest of it, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my diesel fam that knows what I'm talking about. These Fords, the 6.0s and 6.7s, are just bad. Period. Eh, whatever. I think that's gonna be it. Well, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think about today's military walk around? Basically, the purpose of this today, too, was also just to get some footage and to do some testing with the new camera. So, well, this is just with the DJI. I wanted to see how it worked. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like the butteriness of the footage because uh, we will... Uh, we will use this in the future. That is a fact. We will 100% use this in the future. Um, if you guys are enjoying it, I will keep this camera and uh, keep it as kind of like a... <laughs> keep it as the secret agent camera. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anywho's, that's going to do it for today's military lot walk around. Let me see if I can flip this camera around. Watch this. Whoop! <laughs> Isn't that kind of cool? Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I know it wasn't a really long video today, but today's video, you know, like we have the Copart walkarounds coming for you guys tomorrow, which, by the way, major shout out to our sponsors over at eDiag. You saw at the beginning of the video uh, some of the stuff that came in. And major shout out to them. Hold on. Mm. Major shout out to them because... Tomorrow, not only are we giving away $250 in the live chat on the premiere, we're also giving away $250 in the comments section after the premiere. That's crazy. So, 500 bucks. That's, that's, I love, listen, I love my sponsors that look out for you guys. I think it's awesome. I think it's super cool. But if you love my sponsors too, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, tomorrow, while you guys are watching this video, I will actually be getting my final screw in. Screw in. My final screw in. That, that came out really bad. I'll be getting my final uh, implant stuff screwed in where I will be all set and put together uh, for my brand new implants and I'm ecstatic about it. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys very much for the support. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys on the next one.